So this is problem four from homework set number four from the Forces on Ramps homework. Um, again, this problem is a little more complicated than anything I'll ask you to do because it kind of involves two steps. So the base of the question is how much force is it going to take to push an object up a ramp based and get an acceleration of 0 0.50 meters per second squared. Oh, sorry, that's 502 meters per second squared. It's basically the same thing. Um, if the mass of the object is 97.5 kilograms, the angle of our ramp is 28.5 degrees. Okay. Um, so this is kind of the second part of the problem where it's asking you how much force it's going to take to push it up. The key here is the two things that you need to know to push it up, well, we're going to generate a net force in the upwards direction, so our F net is going to go up, and in our F net will go in that direction because we're trying to generate an acceleration up the ramp. Um, so again, F net is the sum of all the forces acting on the object, in this is the case, it is the force we apply, the applied force, going up the ramp. And then there are two forces going down the ramp. The first one, we all know, is F down. So part of the weight that's going down the ramp. The other one, let me shrink this down a little. Oh, there we go. Shrink that down a little bit. The other force is going to be the force due to friction. Um, because in this case, friction isn't going to work up the ramp. It's actually going to work down the ramp. So we have F sub F, and we have F sub D. Over here we have F A, and here we have F net. That is the red arrow. Um, so, we can always find F down. F down is pretty easy. F down is always just the ma uh, the weight, sorry, the weight of the object times the sine of the angle. The thing we're missing is we're missing two forces. We're missing the applied force and friction. So we need to find the force of friction. How you can find that, because friction doesn't care what direction you're going, I gave you the earlier conditions where the ramp actually slid down or the box slid down the ramp with an acceleration of 1.85 meters per second squared. Uh, the mass still being 97 and a half kilograms. Theta still being 28.5 degrees. Okay. Um, when you do this, you find out that um, we can find friction because we know F net again is going to be in this case it's just F down plus the force of friction. The only two forces acting on the block here is the force of friction and here is F down. Okay. Um, so as we find, again, we can find F down, not going to change. F down is going to be W times the, the weight times the sine of the angle. Uh, to find F net for this one, real easy, we just do the mass times our rate of acceleration. Um, and we can do the same thing for up here. We have F net equals MA. Uh, so if we do all that, we can find find that the F net for the first problem is 180 newtons. Okay. Uh, we can find F down. F down is 465 newtons. So F sub F is F net minus F down. So we end up with a total frictional force of negative 285 newtons. Um, so we can take advantage of this for the first part. Uh, up here we have F net is 0 0.502 times 
and we find out that F net is only 49 newtons. Um, the key though is because F net is going up the hill, we're going to say that it is negative. Um, which also means that the applied force is going to be negative. So F applied is going to be F down, which is 465 newtons, plus uh, do, do, do. plus 180 newtons for friction, plus the 49 newtons that is the net force. Okay. Um, doing all that, you end up with the answer of 799.